You have implemented Google Analytics 4 on your website, you check real-time reports, and you see nothing. Or maybe you are seeing incoming data, but some parameters are missing. Why is that? There are many possible reasons, and in this video, I will show you why real-time reports are not working in Google Analytics 4. Before we start, if none of the tips explained in this video help, then take a look at the description of this video, where I will post a link to this blog post. I keep it updated, so there might be some new tips that were not included in the video, but are in this article. So take a look at that as well. So the first reason why your real-time reports might not be working is because maybe you have activated filters for internal traffic. You can check that by going to the admin panel of Google Analytics 4, then go to data settings and data filters. Check if the internal traffic filter is active. If it is, then that might be the reason why you cannot see yourself in the real-time reports. So if you see active right here, then the next step that you should check is to go to data streams, select your website data stream, then configure tax settings, then show all, then go to define internal traffic and see if you have any internal traffic rules here. In my case, I have one rule. And if you click it, check if the IP included in this rule matches your own IP address. If yes, then this is the reason why you cannot see yourself in the reports. So the options that you have here is you can, for example, use some VPN service that changes the IP address and then you will start seeing yourself. Or you can use your mobile network and browse your website from there. Another option could be to make the internal traffic filter inactive. But in that case, you might also start getting data from your coworkers as well if you have more IPs right here. Another reason might be that maybe Google Analytics 4 is not properly installed on a website at all. So go to your website and there are various options how you can check if Google Analytics 4 is installed. One option could be to install a Tag Assistant legacy extension. I will post a link to it below the video. So when you install it, you will see an icon here or maybe that icon will be available here. So when you click the extension, click enable and then refresh the page. If you see some number here, click it and check if you see your Google Analytics for measurement ID. If you don't, then it means that Google Analytics is not properly installed on your website and you should troubleshoot that. Another option, if you don't want to use any extensions, would be to go to developer tools of the browser. So for example, in Chrome, you can do that by clicking these three dots, then more tools and developer tools. Here, you should go to the network tab and enter in the filter word collect because all Google Analytics requests contain this word and then reload the page. If you don't see any requests, it means Google Analytics is not installed properly. If on the other hand, Google Analytics was installed properly, then that request could look something like this. Here you can see collect question mark and then V2. So if you see V2, that means Google Analytics 4. If you see V1, this is Universal Analytics, or in other words, the previous version of GA4. Another possible reason is that maybe you have some extension that blocks Google Analytics. One of them could be Google Analytics opt-out add-on. So if you have it installed, then all Google Analytics requests will be blocked in your browser and they will not be sent to Google Analytics. So check what kind of extensions have you installed in your browser. Speaking of other extensions, Google Analytics can also be blocked by ghostery. So if you have among your icons, you see this ghost, it probably is blocking Google Analytics. Also, ad blockers are blocking Google Analytics or Google Tag Manager. So in that case, you might not see your data in real-time reports. But don't limit yourself just to these extensions. And there are more of them that might block Google Analytics. For example, I know that there's DuckDuckGo privacy extension. So in this case, what I would suggest is to try to disable all extensions and see if that helps. And then if it does, start to enable them one by one and see which one starts blocking your Google Analytics requests. Then another mistake could be considered as a beginner mistake, but we are all human, so we can do mistakes. And that is, well, maybe you're not looking at the correct Google Analytics 4 property. For example, on this website, let's say that I have installed Google Analytics 4 property, and this is the ID. 
but maybe I am looking at the real-time reports of a property where the measurement ID is different. So make sure that you're looking at the real-time reports of the correct property. So go to admin, data streams, web data stream, and then check if measurement ID here matches what you have installed on your website. Then another reason might be your VPN service provider. For example, NordVPN has this web protection feature. So if it is enabled, it will try to block various analytics tools and other trackers that are activated in your browser. So if this is enabled, or maybe you're using some other provider that offers something similar, then that might be interfering with your Google Analytics in your browser. And that's why you might not see yourself in the real-time reports. So if you're using some VPN, check their features and maybe you will find something related to web protection or something else. Another reason might apply to you if you are using Google Tag Manager to install Google Analytics. Make sure to check that you have published your changes in the container. For example, here, if I go to overview, I will see that the current version is 54. So in your case, that might be something different. And I see that this configuration tag was added in this workspace. So if you see this section, it means that these changes are not published yet. That's why Google Analytics 4 is not activated to website visitors. So once you test this, then click Submit, enter the version name, and then click Publish. From that moment, your latest configuration will be activated for your website visitors. You won't see any workspace changes right here, and then check your real-time reports. Maybe then you will start seeing yourself and other visitors. Another reason might be that maybe you're using Brave browser to test your setup. Brave is Chromium-based browser, which means that it uses the same engine as Google Chrome. However, it also has more privacy-related features, including blocking of analytics and marketing trackers. This means that Brave is blocking Google Analytics by default, and that might be the reason why you cannot see yourself in real-time reports. So when it comes to using Google Tag Manager or Google Analytics and testing your own data and your own events sent from your browser, I would recommend using a different browser than Brave. You can use Brave for everything else, but when it comes to testing analytics, you can use Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge because both of them are Chromium-based browsers. So it means that you can still use a bunch of useful browser extensions that make your troubleshooting process much more convenient. Then another possible reason, which will prevent your analytics from working at all, is content security policy. Some developers on their websites implement this kind of security measure that prevents unwanted JavaScript codes from being activated on the website. So in this case, for example, if you open the console of your browser and you see this error, it means that Google Tag Manager was blocked and it is not properly working. And if you have Google Analytics installed via Google Tag Manager, then your analytics will not work as well. To check if this error applies to you, you should go to your website, then click three dots, more tools, developer tools, and then go to console and check if you can see those errors right here. This error might apply not only to Google Tag Manager. You can also see another error. I mean, the same text would be there, but the URL would be different. It can be something like region1.googleanalytics.com. In that case, it means that content security policy is blocking Google Analytics. The only way how this can be solved is that your developers must update their content security policy on the website. Below this video, I will post a link to a documentation that lists all the changes that must be done by your developers. For example, if Google Tag Manager is blocked, then rules related to googletagmanager.com should be implemented. These are needed for the preview mode to work. And when it comes to Google Analytics, then you should take a look at this section or actually your developers should take a look at that. There is no other workaround. Your developers will need to update this on the website. And then the final tip in this video, which happens very rarely, but there's still possibility of it. And maybe Google Analytics is just down at that moment. Maybe it's not working because of some technical issue. So to check that, you can go to Google search and enter something like, is Google Analytics down? And then check the analytics service status page right here and here it will link to the at status dashboard and here you can check if the status of google analytics is okay so if you see green check mark it means that this is working but if you see an orange 
exclamation mark or a red X, it means that something is wrong and you will need to wait until Google fixes that issue. Also, it might be a good idea to check other websites. For example, I see this one, so I could click it. And here people can give feedback by clicking, let's say website or app. And that way they will report that Google Analytics is not working for them. So if Google Analytics is actually not working, I think that in this chart, you will see a sudden spike, which will be much higher than five or 10 reports. And in that case, you will also need to wait until Google addresses this issue and fixes it. And these were the main reasons why your real-time reports are not working in Google Analytics 4. If none of these tips helped, then take a look below the video where you will find more information. If you find this video useful, hit the thumbs up button below the video. That will help me understand what videos do you like and what should I create in the future. Also, if you want to learn more about Google Tech Manager or Google Analytics 4, then consider subscribing to this channel. My name is Julius, this is Analytics Mania, and I'll see you in the next video.